Different people pronounce pho in different ways. Some people say pho, some people say, you know, pho, or however it may be. But the real one is pho. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mikey Ka, and this is my dad. Hi, my name is Vincent Ka. I'm the owner of Pho and Cafe I know. And we're going to teach you how to eat pho. Pho is composed of rice noodle, different cuts of meat. The most important thing about the pho is its broth. We put a bone first, then we put the beef belly, then we put brisket, then you have to cook it at least seven hours. I put scallion on top of this, and I put cilantro, culantro, and green onion on top of it. And that's it, that's a bowl of fur. When you eat fur, right, you have, before you, you eat, when the bowl come out, don't put this thing and this thing in. If you put them in, then you cannot take the fur good or not. But when you try, couple of spoon food, then you know pho is good for now. What kind of taste are you looking for when you first try the uh, soup? I had to try if they cook, you know, with bone or... How do you distinguish between the two? How do you know if there's bone or not? Like... I know because I cooked it. You, know, <laughs> so, okay. like you want a sweet beef broth flavor. Some good stuff, you know? <laughs> so what do we have here? That, uh, Biscuit. We have beef ball, beef balls, and rare beef steak. It's a rare beef steak. This is flank. Yeah. Here we have tendon. Now these are all preferences. So we have beef flank, and we have tendon, bread. and then we have tripe here. Yeah, tripe. Right, the traditional way of setting up your pho is to put your hoisin sauce and hot sauce on the side. To me, I never put this thing on my pho. I will put this all on the side. The right way to do it is put it on the side. And whatever you want to dip, you put your pickup in and dip it. Then, then you so you dip it dip in? Dip it, then, yeah. And then eat it? Yeah. What, what would you say this is like? It's, it's sweet. You know, okay. you know Karen, you know what Karen called oh, this one? Chinese ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> when you eat pho, this, this thing, the basil in Vietnamese they call it Yahweh. This is number one to put in it. Your fur will take more better, a lot of better. It will taste more better. Without this, without this one, the fur, no, you know, it smells not. No, so, no. so why do you put it on the side if you need it? Oh, because I put it on the side because if you you put it in it, this one will turn turn black. So when you eat, you just put it in it, then eat right away. Okay. The rest of the stuff here. Minus the basils are all preferences, whether or not you like bean sprouts or jalapeno peppers. And you know, lime you for its sweetness. After you have all the um, side dishes in, you just want to mix it up. You know, get, spread out your noodles, get it going here, mix up different flavors. Generally, it's the, we use chopsticks almost for yeah, everything. Yeah. The only time you use a spoon is for the soup. When you eat pho, right? And after you eat, and when your mouth get thirsty, that means a lot of FG in there. That thing will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. That's how you eat pho. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>